let me show you something because this tool just blew my mind so the tool is called SciSpace. I reviewed SciSpace before and explained why and how it's good. It's, it's brilliant. It's an amazing tool for uh, exploring the literature, asking questions about the literature, sifting through the different uh, articles and sources, and then also for writing. So it helps you write, helps you, gives you suggestions for what to write, insert uh, reference lists, update reference lists, so all sorts of useful stuff. And now they added this new option for writing specific documents. So they will help you write your cover letter or research proposal or other kind of document. So that's what I want to focus on in this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos about SciSpace, so how to search the literature, how to write with AI Writer, feel free to watch these videos. Here uh, we'll be focusing on this new component, so th these new templates. So you can see this uh, familiar workspace. Uh, and what we'll do is just go to AI Writer, just like we did uh, the last time. So you can see now there is a new option to choose a template. So I could just start writing and I can obviously write a research proposal anyway, but I can also choose a template. And what this does is that it gives me these different options. You can see literature review or thesis statement or other options. They will probably introduce new options in the future. But the reason why you probably want to go through this rather than just start writing is because it gives you a little bit more structure. Firstly, it teaches you a little bit more. So as you can see, there are some resources for how to write a research proposal, also example proposal. So this is already a nice resource, a learning resource. But then another reason why it's better to go through this uh, than just to start writing is because as you start writing, as you click on start writing, it's asking you about your uh, proposed research. And the reason it's asking you is because it will uh, then adjust the whole structure, as you'll see in a second. So this is my description. Now I'll just click to generate uh, my template, generate my template uh, proposal. Now, just a quick point before we continue. Two points, actually. First one is that it's a sponsored video. You can find links in the description if you want to uh, have a look and buy this tool with some discount. And second point is that uh, if you don't like this tool, you, of course, don't have to use it. I'm just saying that because there's always uh, quite a few conservative people who oppose, especially in academia, who oppose any uh, new uh, inventions and developments, and they feel uncomfortable about other people using tools that make their research, their writing better. There is absolutely no ethical problem with using such tools. There is absolutely no reason not to use these tools. And of course, I would never entrust this tool completely to write my research proposal. It's just something that will help the process, will make the process much more efficient, just like a calculator helps you calculate things. So I'll be using these tools. I'll let my students use these tools. And of course, everybody is free to do or not do whatever they want to do. So if you don't, if you absolutely hate this kind of tools, then of course, you don't have to use them. So now let's get back to the tool itself. As you can see now, the reason, uh, so my description basically uh, was used in two, two ways. So the first way is to introduce this uh, this title, which is not great, and normally I would probably want to change it a little bit. And then the second thing is that it kind of uh, assumes from what I uh, from what I wrote, it starts to get ideas for what to suggest in this writing section here. So if you've watched my uh, video on AI Writer, you'll recognize these things. You can see that you can uh, accept the suggestion, for example. So whenever you stop writing, basically, uh, there appears a suggestion for what to write. As I reviewed, as I explained in that video reviewing a writer, this is this already is, is quite amazing. So this is quite amazing. But be careful, because of course, it's also tempting to just keep clicking, accept and accept. So, so you can end up just doing uh, writing something that maybe you didn't want to write. This does uh, sound good and look good, what they uh, suggest, but this doesn't have to be exactly what you want to say. So now, in the normal world, in the normal process, what is likely to happen is that, of course, you have some idea for what you want to do in your research. You, you may have some research idea already. So rather than just blindly following these suggestions, you'd probably start typing something. And, and this tool is great for helping you, like I said, improve your writing once you have an idea for what to write, rather than just trying to write anything and just uh, trust this tool to do your research for you. So for example, if I have an idea that actually that's not what I want to write, I want to start by uh, referring to the, the COVID-19 pandemic, I can start by uh, talking about it. So let me just start writing it and then see, again, obviously, we will get some suggestion if I even stop to think about what I want to, to write, it gives me some suggestions. Again, it's, it's really impressive how good and uh, 
you know how relevant these suggestions are but again ideally you have some ideas for where this is going and and you're only using these recommendations as a kind of additional option but here we're still just writing but if we want to of course use uh, citations we want to refer to the literature we do have this option here if we click on that it gives us uh, some relevant literature and then again I've heard uh, criticism I think under one of my videos before somebody saying that uh, these are basically uh, hallucinations and things like that and yes it's true to some extent so basically uh, what is what's happening here at the end of the sentence I chose to add a citation now I'd like to think that this is uh, these citations are where we find these claims so what I said in this sentence I don't think it's always the case though so so yesterday I did that and I inserted and I tried to explore one of these uh, suggested citations it did not necessarily say exactly what I said in this in this sentence so what this means again is something that should really go without saying uh, namely that you should uh, have a look at who you are citing of course again ideally you have some ideas for who you're citing anyway but if you're if you don't then this tool is absolutely amazing you can go through these and it gives you some interesting ideas already but then what I would recommending is going and exploring these uh, separately so if we do want to just use this citation we would click on cite uh, on this little button here and what will happen is it inserts the citation uh, and you can see that if we scroll down is also right there in the reference list so this is just to show you how this option works but as I said I would uh, normally I would go and first want to explore what this article is actually about so I can click on it and and this happens it's not what I thought but I can click on it and explore it by going here so that's uh, that's how we go to that section where we explore the literature so I can now look at uh, this article that is suggested and and then just use all the other options that I already showed you when exploring the literature with SciSpace so I can say what is this article about for example or I can ask uh, about the main findings so uh, summarize let me just do that again it's telling us what the article is about you can see my summary and then I can ask it to summarize uh, key findings for me so so this is a great tool and again as you can see it's a collaboration it's not some uh, it's not a process where I'm relying or I'm willing to uh, rely on this tool completely but it's a collaboration where I can ask questions so then if for example I like this article and I decide that indeed I do want to uh, to cite it then I can go here and insert the citation again like I said it would be updated in the reference list I'm not sure why it's not I think it's the same one though so I probably use the same one twice I think so you can see there is some structure already so I always said that one of the the key problems the most discouraging things about writing academic writing in general is probably the blank screen and in my videos when I talk about for example writing the literature review chapter I explain that what I usually do what I start with is having that structure so inserting these headlines uh, these headings and then just filling them in one by one so so even that the fact that it's already there already makes it so much better just to see a little bit of that structure as you as you're sitting down and starting to write and then uh, you have all these other sections so let's say if I want to uh, start talking about interviews so let's say semi-structured interviews are uh, an effective method let's just think uh, for a few seconds and then it again it gives me some suggestions uh, and again I can use some citations and see what it gives me if if there is nothing here uh, that seems relevant I can just start uh, typing at the top so again just to use uh, their normal uh, option for exploring the literature so uh, literature on effectiveness of interviews and press enter and let's just see what it finds us you can again see uh, something that's probably one of the key strengths of SciSpace I asked it to find me literature and effectiveness of interviews for data collection and what it did uh, it summarized the key findings so the key things from that literature which is again just just mind-blowing I keep using that word because I, I can't really think of a better word 
that's more suitable here just tells me some ideas. Imagine I'm just exploring the possibility of maybe using diaries or observation or something I don't use much. I can uh, just start learning. This is a learning tool. It straight away gives me some ideas, some things to, to think about. And then of course, gives me the literature where it, uh, it gives me some insights and summaries from each of these articles. And then of, of course, I can either request a PDF or see the PDF or just have a chat about this article. As I said, I have a different video, another video where I just talk about these options, but you can ask questions about any of these articles. So again, just to speed the whole process up, you can ask questions, see if this is an article for you, then start reading it, then go back to your uh, your uh, writer, your notebook, and just keep writing the proposal. So this is it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Uh, remember to explore the links under the video if you want to explore this tool, of course. It's a great tool, as I said, for researchers, for professionals, for students, for academics, anyone involved in any sort of literature, reading or writing, because as you see, you can even use it for writing your, your cover letters. So in any profession, any industry, this just seems like an amazing uh, all-in-one tool. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with others, ask me questions in the comments and consider subscribing if you're new around here.